Okay, I am really excited about that, to be honest. I don't know what to expect, I don't know how it will all work out. I wanted, uh, to be honest, at this particular point, I wanted to make something, you know, owners related, some sort of challenge or something, and I was thinking about it, but I decided that for this year it will be a little bit too much because we don't know how it will work out we don't know if the budget numbers that we will be getting are good enough or not good enough and so on and so on so for this year the owners they kind of take it easy they just see what we are doing they're not really giving us any goals any challenges any rewards even because it does not look like we can use a reward right now we we kind of look good uh, looking at our possibilities, so yeah. Uh, what I was saying, I totally forgot. It. Oh yeah, yeah. If you have an idea what can what the challenge can be for the next year, uh, because it will be decided probably around this point uh, of the next off season, please let me know because well, I could use some ideas. That's for sure. So I already see that Lindback. He looks like a perfect player. Uh, we need to plan our... I think that we can be pretty certain about the salaries. We need a player like Lindbeck. He listed as a uh, NHL backup, but I think he will be good for us as a starter. Buffalo wants to sign him, and we can offer him... I don't want to offer him more than two years, but I think we can offer him some money. We have, like, crazy uh, tons of uh, cap space, so we can offer him, like, three million. No questions here yet, too. No, no, yeah, let's let's yeah, let's offer him exactly three million. I think it will be enough for him. Two years, that's decent. Even if we will, I don't know, magically solve our goalie problems long term, he can be a decent backup at least. And he his age uh, tells me that he will be good for I don't know, probably six to seven years still. So I think it's a good signing, to be honest. Let's see if we have any goalies with potential, because this is something that I might be interested in. Like this Brendan Burke. Our prospect pool is basically non-existent, so I want to fill fill it with everything that I can. So I can offer him like something like that, I guess. Yeah, 0 0.9. Mm -hmm. All these other guys. Well, maybe... This 19-year-old Lee Pine. No, no, no. You know what? No, he's he's not good enough. I would say. Uh, Andrei Makarov. Well, three and a half. No, no. You know what? I think I think that's enough. Let's look at the defenders. First of all, oh, nice hair, man. Let's look at the good overall ones. Yeah, White and Erhoff are kind of out of the question. They're too expensive and. Too, uh, too old, basically for a uh, for us. McBain is someone we might have looked at, but I don't think that we need him right now. He wants, uh, he only wants two-year deal for some reason. I don't know why. But yeah, players like Kul well, I don't want to sign Kulikov. Kulikov is a nice signing, but I don't want to sign him because um, it will be a little bit cheesy. I want to sign Huberto, and this is basically. The only Florida player that I want to sign because, well, it's a little bit unfair. What McQuaid is someone that we might be... He wants three years, though. If we will be able to offer him two, that would be nice. Yeah, let's look at the defenders who wants... We still need, like, five of them. So, Irvin. Yeah, Irvin looks like a perfect fit for us. Uh, 3.5 for... Two years, it will not kill us. Uh, I don't see how it might. Nobody interested in him, so I think we will be good. And yeah, if we count him, we need four more defensemen. McQuaid, 28 years old, 81, 2.8. Yeah, you know what, I guess I will sign him. I guess it will be fine. Nobody interested in him, so something like that. Two years. Yeah, he wants more, but yeah, I would prefer actually to give him two years, but more like three point six, something like that. And uh, they both are defensive defensemen, I believe. No, 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 he's a two-way defense. So McQuaid will probably be playing with uh, Coverley, 
that, that makes a lot of sense. Leopold, how good is his potential? Three in it? Uh, yeah, you know what? I think we can sign him as well. Uh, he wants two years, so we can give him like 2.5. Nobody wants those guys. So we signed, offered three. Uh, three, it means that we need two more. Oh, I like Schlemko actually. He wants three years. So all the other guys are a little bit too old for my taste. Yeah, Fraser, I don't like him. So yeah, Schlemko, I guess we need to send him. If we offer him two years, how much he wants? I can give you like 2.5 for two years. It will be even better for you. And like, like even 2.7. You should take it, man. That's that's a decent salary. Mm, we offered four. No, I don't want to bring Fraser back, that's for sure. Maybe some veteran who still has some potential, like maybe Bryce Salvador. Or maybe even Regeer. Uh, yeah, Regeer looks like a solid defender. 81 overall. Well, his potential is three, so there is a risk that he will be dropping. Maybe somebody else? Like Mark Stewart, maybe. 82 overall. He wants 3 million. Yeah, why not sign him? Also, I will offer him like 4 million for 2 years. Yeah, of course, one way. 2 years. I don't know how players will react to that. Uh, the, the fact that I am reducing the number of years. I, I really don't know. So, we will see. We will see. This is a sort of experiment. So, maybe all of us, you and me guys, that we can kind of learn something new. I think that... I'm, I'm not really looking at this money that much because I think we can afford it. I may be sorry because, well, maybe I am mistaken. And yeah, we made the offers to everyone that we wanted. Yeah, all those guys are kind of old and kind of out of our price range, I would say. So now let's look at the forwards. Who are the best? Yeah, yeah, St. Louis. No, I don't want him. But Huberto, I think that this is the signing that we need to make. I know that some of you guys said that we should avoid signing uh, ex-Florida players, but well, Huberto is such a nice piece. I cannot, I just cannot miss him. He wants one year? No, 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 man. No, I can offer you... Well, if he wants one year, maybe I should offer him one year. Maybe it will be a better strategy. I don't know. If it's a one year, I think that we can offer him like... Yeah, I think, you know, it's a better deal. It's a good thing that he wants like one year. We can offer him five million, I think, and then we can resign him for uh, the actual price he would cost. Yeah, game says that he will be a superstar, and we need some of those. So, yeah, I think that exactly five million it will be enough, and I kind of hope that we can afford it. So he's a left winger. And what does it mean? It means that, yeah, we had an offer for a goalie. We had enough defensemen. So we need six more forwards. And, yeah, we can go a little bit lower. Someone like Briere. Let's look at the center first. Like Letesto. Yeah, Letesto might, might be someone... Or maybe... Oh, Bukestad. How good is he? But Oh, he is really good. Nobody wants him, looks like. Yeah, I definitely want to sign him. And he wants a one-way deal, so I will offer him like three million. I am not really counting in my head how much money I am spending, so maybe it will kind of bite me in the ass later, but yeah, we will see, we will see. So uh, we have two players, so we need five more. Yeah, five more, uh, Eric Fair. Power forwards... I don't know, yeah, maybe we, we need him. Oh, McClement. McClement, yeah, McClement looks like someone that we definitely need to sign. We can use a guy like this. Like this. 2.5, I think it will be enough. I Also, another thing that kind of bothers me, yeah, LaRose. La I always like LaRose in this game. So I guess we will send him as well. Oh, he wants a two-way deal, that's perfect. 
yeah maybe maybe we can sign those guys on a two-way deals and not worry about their <clears throat> salary at all we I think we can afford some sort of a splash I guess you might say like Santorelli I think he's from Florida so it will be kind of cheesy how good is his potential oh he's 29 years old no I don't want to sign him someone maybe like Ryan Malone well he's not that good defensively so I don't see the point maybe Letesto Letesto yeah he's a player that we can use and we I think we can't afford him he wants a two-way deal well let's sign him for a two-way deal like I will give you 2.8 it should be fine for you uh, let's see how many offers did we make uh, Huberto Vukestad one two three four so we need three more or oh, four and five so we need two more yeah, maybe maybe someone like Jack Sk I think he's a sniper even yeah we can I guess we can use a sniper on our team so let's yeah yeah something like that and Joe oh he's good he, well not too good but well he's decent defensively and uh, he wants to yeah 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 he's not too old he should not drop like drastically so we can offer him something like that and Maximo, how good is he? No, he's not too good. I want uh, some good defensive forward, like Dorset. He's a grinder. No, 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 I don't like grinders. Uh, Damien Brunner. If I would uh, actually be playing the games, and if it uh, would have been NHL 14, I would definitely sign him because, well, I liked him a lot. Uh, Troy Bodie? No, no, no. Oh, Dan Carcillo. No, no, no. How? Oh, he listed as a grinder. Yeah, that's that's cool. Mm, Colin Fraser. Yeah, he is. He might be the best option. Oh, I don't like grinders. So, I don't know. Porter. Kevin Porter. No, I guess that uh, Fraser is better. Yeah, let's sign Fraser. Oh, he wants a two-way deal, that's perfect. Yeah, if we are talking two-way deals here, let's uh, sign somebody else. Trevor Smith, two-way forward. Yeah, maybe we can sign somebody better, like... Yeah, like this... Uh... Oh, Eves, I haven't checked him out. Oh, yeah, he's good. He's actually good, and uh, he wants a two-way deal. Yeah, do we do we deal? Yeah, that's that's perfect. And I think that it's basically all that we need. Mostly, I don't know how good should we wait. No, I don't want to wait because it will take more than uh, a day. It's not a resigning. We will have to wait a lot. So what we need to do, and I hope that I'm making the right thing here, is I want to see. No, no, no. I guess we should go to the trading block. I want to see if we need to clear our trading block, by the way. Oh, man. Yeah. Surplus. And players on the block. No. So, uh, what I want is I want a goalie, uh, minimum, uh, yeah, 4.5, and I want a young one, like 21 or younger, something like that. Uh, yeah, I like that. Let's see who do we have. Uh, we have the, the best option is this guy, like Helvig. Well, he has. He's not too good. Sebastian Auger. They signed him? No, no, they haven't signed him. That's good, and he might be a great option, actually. He was drafted, I think, in the first round. Yes, uh, 14th. 
let's see yes yeah, Subban no no Subban is too good he is I think he is yeah two only two years remaining uh, I want to sign somebody who is not uh, signed yet Cardi Dawson Cardi yeah that's that's amazing Brandon Johnson another great one Sittler uh, whistle Jackson whistle uh, Joe flesh I don't know yeah we can see those those are signed so whistle he already signed on a deal so we will not be taking him Cardi is a good option uh, Johnson is a good option Booth yeah Callum Booth we thought about about signing him because well he he looks decent he looks young he's I think he's 18 this is uh, really good for us Colorado already have another goal in this list they have Flesher uh, he was drafted I don't know why would they do that the only reason they would draft two uh, top goalie prospect is to trade one of them and this is what we want to do and we kinda can choose so I would love to get the younger one and Booth is the younger one so I don't know. I don't know why those guys, for example, this Brassard, uh, he is, well, he is a little bit older. Maybe this is the whole deal. So maybe this is why Booth is more, why, for example, why Carthy, maybe he has better hidden stats and that's why game says that he valued more. And I, I don't know. I don't know how it works exactly. Jaden Sittler, another good one, but he already signed. So I think that the booth is the perfect option for us. And let's try and uh, trade for him. Okay. We have so many cap space. I don't want to give... They want to take Berman. And I can definitely give them Berman. Oh, Moody, he has no trading value that whatsoever. So, yeah, Berman... Uh, they want him, but they don't want to give away this guy. It's not that big of a deal. Let's see what other assets we have. I don't want to... On the one hand, I'm... I don't know. On the one hand, I want to keep uh, my prospects. On the other hand, I think that having a lead goalie prospect is much more important than uh, having a depth in our prospect pool. So. This is sort of a tricky one. Let's see. From the prospects that we have, who we value less? Yeah, I think that Valentine, maybe not that good, or Anderson. Uh, yeah, look, if I want to hold on to. Kostilov, I want to hold on to. Ugh. I kind of want to keep all the defensemen, uh, and I know that Bailey is t usually turning out good. Maybe a guy like Valentini. Oh, he's a two-way forward. This is good oh, for us. Uh, Anderson. What's about this? Rasmus Anderson, two-way defender, three and a half stars. And Valentine, Dallas Valentine. They don't want him, I think. Or do they? Yeah, they don't. I wouldn't mind giving him up, actually. I think that, yeah, yeah, let's add him. And I think we need to add something else. Oh, I don't know what you guys will think about those those traits. Yuholamiko. Might be someone good. Maybe somebody else they want. Like this Hodges guy they want for some reason. Steven Hodges. Yeah, he looks decent actually. I might want to keep him. Or maybe Racine. Jonathan Racine. Well, no, he's also looking decent. And Josh Brown. Hmm. I guess we can give up Hodges because we have pretty a lot of depth in the centers. So yeah, and this still can go through. I wouldn't mind like doing that. 
just like that. I'm not sure it will go through. Do they want some draft picks? I wouldn't mind giving up some bad draft picks. Uh, first, second, and third I want to keep. Uh, but seventh I would definitely give up. Callum Booth. Yeah, I, th I think it's a, it's a good deal. So let's see if it will work. No, they say it's not sufficient at all. Yeah. Okay. We can add Moody to this deal. Yeah, let's let's try give them another six. No, still no sufficient. I guess that instead of Hodges, we need to give out somebody better. Oh, who's this Gerard guy? Felix Gerard. Yeah, I can definitely give give you him. Hmm. Yeah, they they don't like this deal like at all. Hmm. What can we do? What should I, should I offer them a little better draft pick? Or should I offer them Moody because I don't really like him. I think he's not fitting our age profile. So yeah, what if I will add Moody? Oh, where is Moody? Instead of the seventh pick, I will add Moody, and no, they're not interested. Uh, I have a habit of going aggressive with with my draft picks, but yeah, I want to try it. I want to try fourth from two years from now. No, no, no. Still, they still don't want it. I guess Booth is a hard hard piece to get. So what should we do? Uh, let's look at our trading assets once again. Yeah, I guess the piece like Bailey or Gardner will settle this this matter uh, without any question. But I'm not sure if I want to to do it, to be honest. Maybe I want to give out Valentini and they want him, so... Uh, yeah, instead of Valentine, I will give them Valentini. And they want him and this might make the difference. I think we can live with this and we need a guy like Booth. Like, definitely, so... Let's try a bit low. Yeah, we we are we are getting somewhere. So maybe instead of six, if I will give you like fifth, is it better? A bit low. Hmm. I don't want to give top three picks, but maybe fourth. And yeah, maybe like fourth from from two fourths. I think this is. Yeah, I think this is a valid deal, so let's see... Yeah, yeah, they want it, and I think this was a good deal. I wanted to keep uh, my one, two, first top three round picks for all the years, and I wanted to get four and a half, uh, at least gold star goalies, and we accomplished it, and now we have, uh, well, a solution to our goalie problems for the future. Possibly. And Booth, he still uh, haven't signed uh, with us. So yeah, 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 I think it's a great pick. And I think that the fact that he's 18, it's it's making all the difference. And his overall is even better than uh, Berman had. So yeah, yeah, I like I like that deal. Now I think that it, it took a long time, I think. So now we need to kind of wait uh, for the answer from all the players that we contacted and I think that when we will get all the answers if we'll have enough players we will end it right here so okay Stewart extremely happy Quaid happy Clement Letesto Leopold Skile Eves Joan Sushlemko Irvin LaRose Fraser Lindbeck Bjugstad Huberto also yeah that's a big one that's what I want to see beautiful and Burke, uh, oh yeah, he was not happy, but he decided to accept 
good for you good for you and how many we have yeah we still have like 15 million available so it looks like we will need some dummy salary or maybe somebody haven't replied yet yeah, and you know I think I think everyone replied so 46 million mm. what we might do 46 million. I think that this will be basically well let's look uh, at the free agent market once again we know our range right now maybe we can get somebody else uh, uh -oh. Regeer Booth you know what yeah let's see I will leave this question open for you guys we will end it right here you know the situation we don't have to get to 60 million of a cap space we can get some dummy salary for some you know veteran like the oldest player oh <laughs> st louis the oldest player no for example like uh, i don't know who who is uh, who is up for a nice uh, pension i don't know somebody like sheldon sur we can offer him like 10 million and keep him in the ahl team for the whole year and uh, this way we will uh, hit the salary cap minimum so we don't have to spend this money but if you think that there is a player uh, who can make us better and who uh, we should sign for example Oduya I don't think that we should sign him he wants four years he is a veteran he wants to be on a winning team it will not make sense that he will go to the team as bad as ours we are still in the rebuilding mode so we need someone I don't know I don't know, maybe like David Booth but I don't know we kind of have a lot of 80 overall forwards on our team so I don't know if he will be better Oh, the the last thing that I forgot to check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't want to sign him. Well, maybe I should, you know. Him and Paul Byron. Yeah, 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 I should sign him. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, I think it's it will be a good idea. So I will offer them deals. Yeah, nobody wants them. They might be good for us. Paul Byron. Yeah, also... Yeah, all the prospects that we can get will be good if there are any I don't know like three green or gold star players I might think about signing them yes uh, tell me what you think should we sign some of those guys I will show them to you right now here is one here is another another one another one yeah yeah here is all the guys so tell me what you think what else should we do what else should needs to be done before we will uh, sim to the beginning of the second year and all your suggestions it will it will all be highly appreciated so but i think we will end it right here hope you enjoyed it leave a like if you did subscribe if you still haven't follow me on twitter and i will see you in the next episode thanks for watching